Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript front-end CSS styles tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to restrict the user to select only the number of checkboxes only. For example, if a user allowed to only check three checkboxes out of the ten checkboxes. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output of our application restrict the user to select or check only three boxes from this list of checkboxes. Now let's select one checkbox, second checkbox and third checkbox. Notice I got the message maximum selected checkboxes for each check. And other checkboxes are disabled. Now if I unselect the checkbox, notice I can able to, the message is disappear and I can able to select other checkboxes. For this video tutorial, I am using Visual Studio Code. First, let's open our folder which is a JavaScript Python tutorials. And here it is, our folder is added to the uh, VS Explorer. Let me expand this folder. Now, I, in this folder, I am adding um, restrict or uh, select select um, check boxes check boxes restrict let's add the restrict uh, restrict check boxes check boxes select dot HTML and here we got the newly created HTML file let me minimize this VS Explorer as well as I'm closing this welcome page. Now let's write the coding part. First I'm adding the simple doc type HTML and closing the HTML element. After that, I am adding the header section. Below the header section, I'm adding the body tag. Now inside the body, I'm adding center tag. Now I'm adding H1. Restrict the user. Restrict the user to select or check only three check boxes check boxes after that i'm adding one horizontal line now below the horizontal line i'm adding one uh, label element label label and this label is that check box one one now inside this label we'll add one input type is equals to check box checkbox and the name name I am adding the checkbox checkbox that's it after that we will add one break here uh, break now let's copy this one second checkbox Copy this one. Now, how many checkboxes we have? This is the second checkbox, this is the third checkbox, and this is the fourth checkbox, and this is the fifth checkbox, and this is the um, sixth, seven and eight now we have eight check boxes now my aim is i want to restrict only select three check boxes from these eight check boxes using javascript now below the break i'm adding one horizontal line uh, again one more horizontal line one more horizontal line one more horizontal line now here i'm adding one label element and this label element i want to display message once we uh, the user selected the range three check boxes i want to display the range the limit range is is, uh, is reach message label message label label that's it we have done the coding part now uh, not the coding part we have uh, designing part now in the javascript let's add the script now we require the functionality. 
Now, first in the script, I'm adding window dot add event listener. This one DOM content DOM content loaded DOM content loaded. It's, it's a function. It's a function. And this function variable I'm adding checkboxes first checkboxes is equals to document dot query selector all query selector all input type input type is equals to checkbox type is equals to checkbox then another variable maximum allowed maximum allowed checkboxes here I'm mentioning three checkboxes I want to restrict the user only select three checkboxes from this eight checkboxes. So that's the reason I have added three checkboxes. If you can change, if you want, you can change this checkboxes, maximum alert checkboxes. After that, uh, let's define checkboxes dot for each function, for each function checkbox, for each function checkbox checkbox dot add event listener change function change function change function and this function require um, variable check count the selector checkboxes we need to count so I'm declaring one variable check count is equals to document document dot query selector query selector all query selector all add event listener function variable document of yes <clears throat> now what i required input type type the checkboxes i'm selecting here between double course i'm adding checkbox 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 column check dot length 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 check boxes change function that's it we have added the length of the selected check boxes now if checker count this checker count is greater than maximum allowed I want to disable the other checkboxes. So uh, the code is if uh, checkboxes if condition this dot checker checker is equals to false. False means other checkboxes will be disabled. Now if check checker count is equals to max allowed. So, if the user selected three checkboxes from the list of checkboxes, then I want to display the message is uh, the um, limit range is reached. So, checkboxes dot for each function for each function other checkbox other checkbox if not other checkbox dot check check other checkbox dot disabled disabled is equals to true let's close this function this is the function i'm closing here now else part for this if condition we require the update label update label will write a function to display the message once the maximum limit is range i want to display the message uh, so update label this is the message i want to display maximum maximum checkboxes limit selected checkboxes selected checkboxes boxes reach 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 and so if condition
Milton, the else, the else part, checkboxes dot for each function, for each function, other checkboxes, other checkbox, other checkbox. Now, now here this function is for once we reach it, the maximum allowed checkboxes disable true the other checkboxes is disabled if it's not selected more than three or not reached three i want to disable false which means that we can select the checkboxes so here other checkbox dot disabled disabled is equals to false false then let's close this one we need to update a label update uh, update label uh, this one we don't get any message that's it this is else part this is else part and this is the this uh, event listener we need to close and this is also this for each function we need to close now we require the update label function to display this message we require some functionality uh, to display this message in this label so function update label message message Update label message variable label is equals to document dot get element by id we need to get this label message label copy this one and paste here paste here then label dot text content text content is equals to what the message i want to display This is a message. This is a message I want to display because update label is a function here. This is a function we have added. That's it. We have done the complete full coding JavaScript functionality. This also, this is the main DOM event listener. We need to close this one with semicolon that's it we have added complete javascript functionality the first one dom content is loaded um, we require uh, we have defined the variables then maximum allowed only three checkboxes then first we need to check the maximum allowed uh, false greater than false then the maximum allowed is equals to so oh, three then disable the other checkboxes if the it's not reach the maximum checkboxes then i want to uh, able to check the other checkboxes then we have to display the message here that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file and save we'll check the final output of our application for that open file explorer the folder I have created in the E drive, the folder name is JavaScript iPhone Tutorials, and the file name is a, um, what is the file name? Restrict checkbox select. Let's select that one. Restrict checkbox select. This is the file name. And here we got the final output of our application. Restrict the user to select or check only three boxes from this list of checkboxes now let's select one checkbox second checkbox and third checkbox notice i got the message maximum selected checkboxes reached and other checkboxes are disabled now if i unselect the checkbox notice i can able to the message is disappear and i can able to select other checkboxes that's it in this video tutorial i have explained using a simple javascript code
to restrict the user only select the number of checkboxes from the group of checkboxes thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial